Hi there. People asking what's the difference between the wireless purpose camera and the Wi-Fi purpose camera. Uh, we, we have got the, this is the wireless purpose camera. And we have the Wi-Fi purpose camera. You can see the size, the wireless purpose camera is, thin, is smaller and the Wi-Fi is a little bit bigger. Technically, they're totally different. The wireless purpose camera is built based on analog technology. So usually we need to have the receiver. This is the receiver. So the, the camera send the video and the receiver get the video and the camera stay in the bird house. Also, the analog technology only allow us to view the camera on the traditional TV. Basically, technically we need to have a cable connect from this output to our TV. And this is the Wi-Fi purpose camera. One thing common is both camera also need the power. So which means we still need to run the power to the camera. And the Wi-Fi camera is based on the uh, based on the IP technology, so we can connect the camera to our home Wi-Fi network, like the Wi-Fi router, or simply just using the internal Wi-Fi built in the camera if there are no Wi-Fi available in the scene. All right, this is antenna and also the big microphone so we can hear the voice from the house. We got the micro SD card slot. We can install the SD card and record the camera video into the camera. And they also have four high power built-in invisible LED. It can, it's going to light up the bird house at night. And there are two, one, two, two terminal. One for the power, the other is the reset button. So if we mess up with the setting, we can push the reset button and clean up all the settings. The lens is adjustable, so it, it's going to fit into the different bird house. All right, now let's just power up the camera and just run a quick test with the iPad. Now let's run a quick test with the camera. Here we have a micro SD card, so we are going to install the SD card into the camera. The camera can record the video. And we also need to power up the camera. It's going to take a few seconds for the camera to boost up. Meanwhile, we are going to use the apps to connect the camera. If the Wi-Fi network is available, we will be able to hook the camera to our home Wi-Fi network. Here we don't have Wi-Fi network, so we are going to use the camera's internal Wi-Fi. First, we'll connect the iPad to the camera's internal Wi-Fi. This is the camera's internal Wi-Fi. We input the password. And I click join. Alright, then we go to the apps and we log in the apps. So it's better to turn off the camera's mobile data. Then we click the app button and click more. Now we find the last option, AP mode. It will allow us to connect the camera's internal Wi-Fi and receive the video. Okay, now we are seeing the camera's live. Here, we have a button to hear the voice from the camera. One, two, and we also can switch the HD mode and the standard resolution. This is standard resolution and the high definition resolution. And here we also can record the video to the app. As we already insert the micro SD card, so let's play back the recording file. Okay, the video. Now we've seen the original recording file. If you want, you also can download the file to our iPad and share on social platform. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching.